Looking poor is more important than ever. You're just gonna get mugged if you wear anything kind of fancy. Someone spots you, they're gonna mug you. This video is brought to you by Moomoo. You can get five free share of stock valued up to $3,500 each just for signing up and depositing money. This is a free trading app and in past promotions, I got myself a free share of GM stock and a free share of Apple stock. You can check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. There's two sides to this. Sometimes you wanna look poor, sometimes you wanna look rich. There are advantages to both of them. Think of it more like a costume. You have a poor outfit, and then you also have a rich outfit. If you wear somewhat poor, you're gonna blend in a little bit better. There are other times where you wanna look rich. Let's say you want to go to a car dealership and you want some attention. I know when I just did not prepare and wear anything fancy at all, I walked in a Porsche dealership, they paid me zero attention at all. Wearing fancy clothes will impress certain kinds of people that are impressed by designer clothes. I'd say the best way to get service at a designer store is to wear nice clothes. I'd say my favorite is probably to dress poor because it takes no effort on your part. When you dress rich, it's slightly uncomfortable. Usually it's like a suit or something that's really tight fitting. But this is my typical get up right here. This very ugly shirt, I got it for free. But it's very, very comfortable and I really like it. And I also wear these like three quarter length pants I got from Uniqlo, I think, and it's pretty worn out. This is just like my daily getup. I like to go everywhere with. Seriously, I see other people walk by homeless people and they ask them for change. But then when I walk by with this getup, it's like silent. There's a great advantage to dressing poor. One time I was like, check out Stan and someone asked me for my club card number. I give it to them so they can save like $20. And afterwards, they're like, here, here's $5. Thanks for lending me your club card number. And I'm like, oh no, it's okay, you know? It didn't cost me anything to give them my club card number or anything. So I'm like, okay, it's all, it's all cool. So I don't know, maybe it was my get up kind of like this. Some people have suggested that if you have a really clear complexion, you actually look rich no matter what you put on. Now, short of smearing oatmeal on my face every time I go out, I'd say it's probably too much a hassle for a disguise, really. I like dressing down because you can bargain. If you dress fancy and you bargain, you're just gonna look cheap. But if you dress down and you bargain, you're just gonna look like anyone else who's trying to get a good deal. There are drawbacks to dressing poor because sometimes, when you walk into a store, people follow you. I walk to this aisle, there's someone just tailing me. I make a U-turn, they make a U-turn, and they're just watching from like six feet away and they're like, I can see you. I pick up something, they're like, don't touch that. And then I'm like, how much are those? Four for a dollar. I'm like, four for a dollar, no thanks. I can get like 10 of them at the farmer's market. You know, there's a practicality to dressing poor everything becomes automatically cheaper when you dress down. You go in with a cheapo car. I had a Toyota MR2. Oil change is what, $28. But when you go in with a Porsche, suddenly they go, oh, it's a Porsche, $120 now. In my first how to look poor video, if you guys are interested, I'll leave that link over here. But in that video, I wore this Agilent t-shirt. It's since gotten much dirtier because I painted in it. It looks like I'm a painter now, but some of you have mentioned that because it's a tech shirt, people automatically equate this to rich because you worked at a tech company. So therefore, you know, if you're in Silicon Valley, people don't dress all that nice over here, then you are rich apparently wearing a tech t-shirt, one of these like convention giveaway things. Because of these great suggestions, I have switched to this getup where there's no logo at all and I could potentially have a better camouflage of myself because as a millionaire, this is my costume when I go outside. I'm not gonna you know, wear a t-shirt that says, I'm a millionaire, rob me or something like that, right? Not sure if this happens to anyone else, but I was just in front of a store finishing up my $5 latte that I bought myself and all of a sudden, someone dropped change into my cup and I was just so shocked. By the time I realized what's going on, the guy that gave me money, it's like way down the street already. And all of a sudden I am 55 cents richer. I don't really need the money, but heck, you know, if they're gonna drop money into my cup, I will go and stuff it into coin rolls and deposit it into my bank and then collect interest on it, of course. Like I mentioned in the beginning, dressing poor prevents 
muggings. You don't want to wear a fancy suit or just wear very nice. And then you have a Rolex on. I know people like to show off with that stuff. But if you wear that stuff, you become a target, especially these days when crime is elevated. Crime towards Asian people or it's a little bit sketchy these days. And I've actually decided to not ride BART anymore. It's just become too much of a security issue. I'd rather just drive now. Do you want to rob someone with a Rolex that's thousands of dollars? Or do you want to rob this? A free shirt. Maybe I have $10 at most in cash and a Casio watch. But just kidding. I don't even wear a watch. So really low gains here to rob me. Just a suggestion. This is something I don't do myself, but I might consider doing it when I am traveling is that you carry a decoy wallet. You need an expired ID, some expired credit cards, you know, and just a small amount of money, just enough to appease your mugger. You know, they take it and they see that there is something they're going to run. You can just give it to them. All is not lost because your real wallet is somewhere else. One time I was riding an electric scooter and I have this white helmet on. I went into a boba place and they automatically thought Uber Eats. I'm like, do I look like an Uber Eats driver? I guess people on scooters, they fetch drinks for other people. I was actually there to get my own drink. It probably was the helmet, the scooter, or like I had a really old jacket that made it look like I am, I can't afford to buy my own boba, I guess. Overall, my general recommendation is to dress poor most of the time, unless you really, really need to dress nice. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.